spoiler alert, major, major spoiler alerts ahead. If you have not watched season three of Ozark from start to finish, especially the final episode, stop. I don't want to spoil it for you. If you have, definitely keep watching. But if you do not know the scenes behind me, stop. If you don't recognize where I'm standing, stop. If you do, if you want to learn more about season three that I'm standing on, then let's keep going on this. This restaurant looked familiar. Ben from the series Ozark may have eaten his last meal here. We're going to check out this and many more locations from season one, two, and three of one of our favorite series, Ozark. Stick around. Ah, the beauty of the Ozarks the water, the Missouri Bell, but we are instead in Stone Mountain, Georgia. That's right, not the Ozark that you might be familiar with. We are instead on location and follow along as we scope out a whole bunch of locations from one of our favorite shows, The Ozark on Netflix. We're gonna bring you to the Birdhouse, the Blue Cat Lodge, who knows what and where and how we come up with all these locations, including, as you can see behind me, the Missouri Bell Riverboat Casino, right there out on the water here at Stone Mountain, Georgia. Let's get ready to go on an Ozark adventure that rocks. Place those bets. Before we get started on this adventure, just want to give you a heads up. If any property has some fence, rope, barrier, we are not going to cross it. We wouldn't do that. We want to be very respectful to every location we come across, especially if it's a private residence. Now, while you're out here at Stone Mountain, take some time to look around because here is the front of the casino. It's hard to look right now, but if you go back and look at the show, the teal railing is still up, except they had a casino symbol instead of the waterfront sign. The gates, of course, are still here. So you go back through and you can picture Ben going through the gates and walking on down. Of course, they brought in these arch lamps. They go down on both sides and these string lights. Even the lamps that they use on both sides of these uh, were a different type of lamp, but the poles were still secure than the same. They just switched off the tops that we went back and looked at different pictures and videos from the show. But yeah, where we're standing right here, this is the actual Riverfront Casino to lead you right into the Missouri Bell that is parked right behind it. And here's a look at the front of the boat. As you can see, kind of nondescript, and you can't get that close to it. Not like the back. In the back, you got that wow factor. We did want to give you a friendly warning. It's $20 admission fee to get into the park. Now, you can enjoy the park. They've got all kinds of trails to go on, come out, enjoy a picnic lunch. You can rent a kayak and then come out and get really close and get some great shots of the Missouri Bell while you're out here and enjoy the water. But if you're every other location that you're gonna see in this video, it's free parking, except for this one. And if you want one more shot of the Missouri Bell, head over to the East Lake. We parked at the Golf Overflow parking lot and just look out onto the water. It's a gorgeous picture. You can see the Missouri Bell docked out there. You can see the Stone Mountain in all its glory rising up from the earth, but it's a gorgeous sight shot. It's just another take and just take that time. It's so gorgeous out here. It's a great day. I'm so glad we made it and let's go. We got a lot more locations to check out. Keep in mind, we're gonna take some time on places that are public property and try to give you a full overview. Things that are kind of on the private residence side of things, such as the Snell House, when we come upon it, you're gonna see us get it real quick. But don't worry, we're gonna hope to get a much more full recap as we do a part two in another episode adventure. Oh, 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 oh. hey, hey, hey. <laughs> huh? 
don't want to. You don't want to go jumping in the water. But Buddy does. He takes <laughs> off all his clothes and goes running in. <laughs> And behind us, we can't believe we found it either. The bird residence. No stop on a Ozark filming location tour can be complete without stopping at the bird residence, of course. Always be respectful when you're out looking for any type of filming locations. Don't go racing up on property, especially if it's at someone's private residence. Be Let's go take a look behind it at the dock itself, which is actually on public property. Not even a quarter of a mile from the birdhouse you'll find Van Pugh North Park. It's an incredible beach and park to come and hang out and you got some great views behind me of the birdhouse and that dock that they always go hang out at, that they go on drives on the boats and carp that water out in the Ozarks, wink, wink, wink. Great time out here to come and just hang out and get your own Ozark experience. JD's on the lake, not today. Behind me, this place is otherwise known as the Blue Cat Lodge. That's right, we're on location. Now, if you take a look at the sign, even though it does say JD's on the lake, that was the street sign for the Blue Cat Lodge. And as you can see, it, it's kind of, not even the poles because that is where that great big fish was from the show that the frogs that they took down after the show was over. It may not be the Blue Cat Lodge now, but it is still cool that you can actually come and eat here and still get that whole Blue Cat Lodge Ozark feeling. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we'll definitely follow you. The boat that Marty drove in the show, I sold it uh, about a month after they finished eating food. Oh, so that's where we first we meet Ruth. Right there was Ruth, Rachel's office right there behind the little window door. So as you can see, we're in the parking lot of the Blue Cat Lodge or JD's on the lake. They don't let you get too far out to the actual docks. They actually have it taped off. So please, if you're coming out here, be respectful of those pictures and stuff. And they do have signs up just to say, please do not enter. They actually even have signs saying social media is just not worth the risk. So we try to be respectful of that, but you can see it's still cool. They even got all the little lights hanging up off the marina docks out there. The flags are still up. Still really cool to see how they still have that touches of Ozark out here. Another cool thing out here at Blue Cat Lodge, that pier closest to the restaurant, see those three cones? Now the wine cone closest to the right, that's the one that Ruth hooked up all that electricity to and fried her brothers. So make sure the next time they have your boat docks there, you might want to stay away from that side. Oh, 
Also, those gas pumps that Charlotte worked at for that summer job at Blue Cat Lodge, it is in reality a dock right off behind the Blue Cat Lodge. And you can pull it right on down. They're actually real working gas pumps. So cool to see it's still out here and that they still work. Now the offices for the Blue Cat Lodge, you don't have to go too far to be on location and get some shots of that. It's just right over there, one half parking lot away. And that's the office of Marty Bird when he was at the Blue Cat Lodge. Explore some cabins, see if we can find some cash inside those walls. We're here. I know what you're thinking. Rock, I don't see any cabins. That's because the two cabins that were here, of course, got taken down right after the season was over. That's right, they were just set pieces. So they were two cabins here, painted blue, and we are standing on the exact location of those cabins. Now behind me, it is in a private drive and there are real cabins back there. But here for the main focal point of the show of the Blue Cat Lodge, those cabins are no more. There's not even a trace of them except the empty piece of ground and not a dollar bill to be found. Don't lose your head over this one. You won't believe whose house we just found. Check that out. That place is huge. And it can only belong to one guy, one of those classic villains in Ozark. You know him, Camino Del Rio, otherwise known as Del. You saw him in season one and two. Out here, you can find this place at Chateau Elan in Brazelton, Georgia. It's open to the public, so you guys can come out and grab those family pictures, get those selfies taken out here on the property. But he, that's not the ultimate. We got Navarro's house coming up, so stay tuned. In season three, we went to Mexico, home of Navarro, the head mastermind kingpin of the drug cartel that Marty and Wendy Bird have been working for. Mexico or Westview Cemetery here in Atlanta, Georgia, we gotta go check it out. Let's just hope we don't end up with a major headache. So the driveway up ahead, let's take a look at not only Navarro's place, but also let's go get some shots of what happens in those final scenes that we're gonna be standing on right underneath our feet. This is the exact road right here, right to the front door. And here I am welcoming you, just like Navarro welcomed Marty, Wendy, Helen, and Frank when they showed up with his kids. What's cool is a lot of the whole scenes around the Navarro out at Mexico took place all in just this general area right here. 
So we're gonna show you a couple of different shots that I'm sure you're gonna recognize. One is, remember when his kids were outside just playing in that patch of grass? That patch of grass is only this little bit right here where they were playing at. So I thought I'd give a little play myself along with his kids. cemetery to take that time and explore and it's so cool to even be able to walk the same stairs and steps that Navarro and Helen Pierce did on Ozark. Just don't go making any deals while you're out here. Might not end up great for you. I gotta say come out to Westview Cemetery just to even check it out and explore the grounds but this alone it is well worth the trip. The architecture alone is mind-blowing. For photos and stuff like that, you're gonna be blown away, fans of Ozark or not. Remember, they find exactly where they shot it. It is in the back of the mausoleum, and there's plenty of parking. Wow, it's, it's gorgeous out there. Now, if you do wanna come out to Navarro's place, how can it not be complete to end your stop at Navarro's the same as standing in the exact spot as Helen Pierce? It's on the back side of the mausoleum. Just find your way out here. Make sure there's a tree in the background. And on this piece of pavement right here, Helen endured a great headache. can't help himself but want to make a phone call and of all places where to get a phone here at the gas station you can find it in Buford Georgia Nally's 2 is the place even the interior is shot inside this gas station but a little bit of TV magic because we asked when we went inside the attendant I asked him can I buy a phone in there and his exact words were you can't buy a phone in here but I did sell one once. Wink, wink. But you gotta come check it out. Let's get back to Ben. Had a great meal. By the way, this restaurant you can eat at. JR's Barbecue here in Norcross, Georgia. You can actually sit in that restaurant just like he did. And check this out. We're gonna give you the screenshot. We found the Facebook page of that restaurant and when they actually did the shooting here. Now let's get back to Ben. What do you think happened? Put it in the comments down below. Think about it. In Ozark, they always show what happened to someone at the time something occurs, but not Ben. You know, here he is waiting outside. Frank comes up, but we never actually see something happen to Ben. Do you think he's going to return in season four? Put it in the comments down below. Will we see Ben again? Who knows? But also put in the comments down below if you ever plan to enjoy a meal out here at JR's Barbecue. Another scene, and how can we forget it? Wendy Bird is frantic about Ben. She just left the restaurant and is so frantic, Marty begs her, pull off the road. Where is that road? It's Crescent Drive off Jimmy Carter Boulevard. If you notice when you go back and watch that scene in Ozark, a few things give it away. The identifying 
part for me was the road signs behind Wendy Bird's shoulder as she was talking to Marty Bird. So the road signs told me it was off 85, but in the distance, and I don't know if you can see it, were those three blue triangles. So I knew if I could find the three blue triangles on those buildings, I would have the spot. Then it was an exact where exactly did Wendy Bird pull over at? Well, up ahead is a little mark in the grass. So we went back and made sure on the footage in front of Wendy Bird's car, that mark in the grass is so we found the exact spot here on Crescent Drive. So just look, it's right in front of like a warehouse building. And if you can find that spot in the grass that is practically parallel to those road signs and diagonal to the three purple, three blue triangle signs lit up at night, you are where Wendy Bird was on the phone with Marty as they were trying to, as she was trying to calm down in that episode. The Snell Barn. You ever notice on the show there's no animals? Not that I can recall. And it's a barn. Where's the cows, the pigs, the chickens? But boy, do they got those fields and fields and fields of poppy flowers. Now we cannot verify if that's the location for those fields of poppy flowers out here, or if that's just TV magic, or if that is some other location that they use out here. Um, but we can know that where we're standing, it definitely is the location of the Snell Barn. And where it's around the corner. Now let's go Drake a drive right around the corner, just about a mile away to the Snell House. Behind me, out in Alpharetta, Georgia, how can you not forget some of the iconic scenes that always happen out at the Snell House? Just always be careful if you're ever gonna ask for a glass of lemonade. As you can see, we happened to find the hotel that Agent Miller was staying at and that Marty Bird was staying at. Now, if you start going frame by frame of the rooms, we're not sure the room number that Agent Miller was staying at, but Marty's room number is 161. And we can't really get you that close to that because someone it looks like is actually staying in 161 right now. Or it might actually be closed off just because of the shell, but we know the door is already cracked open, so we're not gonna get that close just out of respect to just in case someone is in there. But this is the Cheshire Motor Inn Hotel here in downtown Atlanta. So if you wanna get your own peek of where they stayed at, the next time you're in town, this is the place. Another great location out here in Norcross, Georgia, the Dollar General. Remember, Marty comes out of the Dollar General and notices that black vehicle out here at the light post, waiting for him, watching him. He makes the call. What does he do? 
who is it and what's he been told to do? Go back inside the Dollar General and wait for his ride out in the alleyway. Another great find out here. As you can see behind me, not much to look at. With a lot of TV series, a lot of times you're just getting exterior shots with nothing going on on the interior. That's all done inside a studio on a set. But behind me, off Oak Brook Parkway, out here in Gwinnett County, Georgia, that is Lickety Splits from season one and two. The strip club that Marty Bird owns, that Ruth operates, and later on Sam operates. That is it in all its glory, and it was just the exterior shot right there behind me. We hope you enjoyed all our Ozark locations, but we cannot leave without giving a huge thank you and rock shout out to Little River Marine Center. This is also known as the ship dockyard for all the boats behind me. They even have Ruth boats in there. Now it is behind the scenes, so just don't go in there expecting that you're gonna see it. But it's in there, we got to show you a little clip of it. It's just so cool, all the information that you can find. But you wanna get some Blue Cat Lodge gear, this is the place. They got your shirts, your hats, your koozies in there. They can give you all kinds of stories about season one and two about what happens all out here. Party Cove stories, you want them, they know it out here. So just take some time, if it's not busy, ask the staff some cool stories. They can tell you about those cottages. They can tell you about the Blue Cat Lodge. Thank you so much for taking the time. Open it up, let us get some shots in there. We can't thank you enough. Make each and every day, including your trips when you're out in the Ozarks, an adventure that rocks.